20 seconds to describe each. For some of our speakers, this might prove to be a limitation because they, they like to talk more. However, the loop will, the loop will um, advance automatically, so sorry, Jay. Um, we have one presenter tonight who's come all the way from Italy just to be here on this occasion, so I thank you in particular, Mara. And with that, um, I'm going to introduce Eric Sponberg as our first presenter. Well, we'll see how well this works, because some of the slides are short and some of them are going to be long. So we'll see how it goes. So, uh, and I guess I'm the guinea pig. So everybody else, you know, take notes. We'll see how well this goes. We can go ahead. First slide, please. Okay, my design is something completely different. It's called a modular catamaran houseboat. I've designed a lot of houseboats for, or some houseboats for a client near me in Florida. And we'll wait for the next slide to come along. If you go to my website, you can click on boat designs and then click on power boats and then click on Flagler houseboats and you'll see a description of the houseboats that I've designed. There are two prototypes that uh, have been built of these. There's a 20 by, or 16 by 40 foot arch top design, and then there is a 20 by 44 foot mansard roof design. These designs have generated a lot of interest. Of the 80 pages on my website, my houseboat page is by far the one most often visited. As a result, I've talked to a lot of people about the kinds of houseboats they really want, and almost universally it comes down to this. The 1993 movie, Sleepless in Seattle. Tom Hanks' character lives on a houseboat. His name, Sam, lives on a houseboat, and customers want a houseboat like his. This is Sam's houseboat from the movie. It's a normal house on a log barge, built in 1978. It has 2,075 square feet, four bedrooms, two baths, and in 2008, it went on the market for two and a half million dollars. And we do have some other examples of unusual houseboats. Three-story, ultra-modern, with a basement even. Houseboat communities can be found in a number of places. But most houseboat builders don't build houseboats like these. Rather, they build more boat than house. And they build the houseboats like what's going to show up on the next slide <laughs> so that they will fit on trucks. And that makes them narrow and low and forces very limited limit, uh, uh, space. And it inhibits building style. So they're not building the house type houseboats, they're building the boat type houseboats. Why are they built like this? Well, they're built to fit on trucks because when uh, they need to uh, get them so they fit into a very confined space and that just uh, inhibits building style. Well, why are they built on trucks? And that's because on the next slide we can see where all of the houseboat builders are. All of the red markers that are going to show up in a minute are where, our, our, where all of the houseboat builders are. And then the blue markers that are going to show up are where all the potential customers are. So the only way to get houseboats to customers is by truck. So how can we build the type of houseboats that people want and still deliver them by truck? Modular catamaran houseboat. We have a catamaran hull design. We have uh, aluminum construction, a modular house, any type of house so that it can uh, be built by anywhere, uh, either the houseboat builder or the, uh, an independent builder. And uh, we also have to plan for uh, haul out and servicing. So here's the design. It's uh, 40 feet long, 4 feet wide, 4 foot tall, 2 foot draft, a modular deck, and a house that will fit on similar to the arch top Flagler houseboat design. Now you can also put the Sleepless in Seattle house on here. The basic components of the hull and deck can fit on a truck. And in this particular case, we can fit on first 
part of the deck, which will come up in the next slide. <laughs> And by making them aluminum, they're durable, it's easy to get them on, you size them so that they can get on okay. So we first put on some pieces of the deck, which is modular. Then we can put the hulls on the truck side by side. They come in and then we can put on the rest of the deck. And if the houseboat builder builds the house, that can fit on an additional truck or trucks. Now for propulsion, I mentioned electric propulsion. Now you can have any kind of electric motor with conventional propeller and steering. Uh, th and this is very easy to do. Alternatively, if you want to get rid of the rudder, you can use a kind of a pod drive. Uh, and ideally, if you uh, get really inventive, you can put an electric motor onto a lower drive unit, kind of like an outboard, and then mount that on the transom and then raise the uh, whole unit up out of the water until it is really needed. These machines don't get used very much and so you don't want to invest too much money in electric propulsion, but it is a very clean form of propulsion, particularly for trapped waterways and lakes. Now as for servicing, this is a typical marina of houseboats. There's no ramp shown in here, but do note the T-docks. You should have a ramp and uh, it'd be helpful if you had T-docks. And I'll get to the reason why in just a minute. There's another example plan of a uh, houseboat marina, which uh, comes from England, actually. And there is space for a ramp nearby uh, this marina, plus, again, note the T-docks. So how do we haul out? Coming up on the next slide, you'll see uh, we have a T-dock that gets built along with the catamaran hulls. And that's used and is ballasted down with water as a T-dock. And when it comes time for servicing the boat, that T-dock is detached and placed underneath the houseboat and then it's deballasted so that the whole thing raises up out of the water for servicing right within the resident marina berth. And then if you want to haul it out, you can if you uh, place it on dollies over at the ramp area and you can haul it out and service it where you have better environmental control. So what do I need? I need people. People with money. <laughs> and preferably lots of money. And this is people with money so that they can develop all of the houseboat marina and pay for design, construction, and whatnot. And then I need a houseboat builder to actually build the houses. And that's my presentation. And if you want to download this presentation complete with audio, you can go to my website and go to the news page and download it from there. Thank you very much. Apache Kucha is billed as the world's best network guy, networking.